Hello everybody, welcome back, back over here, I hope you guys are doing well, um, amazing, amazing, so, uh, prices for transaction fees are going down a little bit, so we see the mempo dropping in terms of the amount of transactions, that's good, um, you know, all those people who are saying, oh, the Bitcoin is broken and uh, they break the time chain and all those transaction, uh, you know, spamming and all those things. And one thing I realized is people didn't understand is that the Adam Back hash cash, you know, you know, the hash cash, um, network basically a program that he created was to prevent spamming right uh well it wasn't to prevent spamming it's to make the cost of spamming make it costly to to spam right he didn't say hey i'm gonna i'm gonna make it impossible to spam he didn't say that he just created a program to make it costly so if you want to spam you can still spam but you have to pay right so that's what Satoshi Nakamoto did with the proof of work using Hashcash. So you just make it harder to spam, right? So that's the reality here. It's just, you know, if you want to spam, you can, you can always spam. You can, you know, flood the mempool with a bunch of transactions and you know spend your money and all the buy the satoshis feed the miners you know like keep doing that as long as you want right but remember there's a limit on how much data you can put in every 10 minutes right it's limited so you know like what can you do uh, it's, it's like all these clowns saying, oh, the big green is broken and all those things. They don't just, don't, they don't get it. It's like, uh, you know, if it is an attack, I hope it lasts long. So they, they can feed the miners the longer. So that's that. Uh, I don't want to just focus on uh, this for too long. There's a lot of things, interesting thing going on. And uh, Bitcoin Network, there's a lot of like... Uh, amazing things going on you have like countries you know ma making bitcoin legal tender countries putting bitcoin on their balance sheet uh for their bond so that's amazing um you know you have big countries in europe mining i, I mean like see this recent country just uh um you know seeing they're gonna put Bitcoin and our uh, as in our bun, like converting our bun to Bitcoin. It's amazing. All the things are going on under the hood, and most people don't just they don't really pay attention to like the, all the smart money getting in. All this money, they're not like quick, you know, retailers who can't make up their mind. No, they're just like strong hands. They they are here for a long time. And uh, they're gonna keep on mining, they're gonna keep on producing blocks. So, um, yeah, so, anyways, that's, uh, that's uh, amazing news, right? So, and you see education keep on going on. Like, those are the things I'm bullish on. I'm, I'm more bullish on, like, educating, like, the world about Bitcoin. Like, you have me, me premier Bitcoin or my first Bitcoin in El Salvador, educating Bitcoin, uh, like kids at school for the next generation. These are the things, right? Because Bitcoin is long term. Bitcoin is generational wealth, and it's like for the next generation and generation, the generations to come. So, you know, Bitcoin is going to be used for thousands of years. So it's good that we start educating people about it early. So. Just like when you go to school, right? You want to make sure the kids 
know how to use the metric system right it, you want to make sure that you know how to use like unfortunately at school they don't teach us what money is right it, we, i never learned like real thing like real about money they just teach me math and all those things and science but they don't really teach you about money what money is right like why who creates money Right? They won't teach you about that because if they did, you would know how the system is screwing you over, right? So they're not teaching you. And b because the way it's structured, right, because it's a scam, you know, you're not allowed to know, like, the tricks behind it, right? So you only have to know the lies, right, the propagandas, right? But they won't teach you about money. Right, which is the the essence, the the foundation of the society. So they rather teach you about, you know, you know how to measure um, a volume on a spoon, uh, how to measure like a cubic cubic feet and stuff like that. You're never gonna use, probably never gonna use in your life. So instead of teaching you the day-to-day -day life thing that you use, right? You can't survive without food. You can't survive without money. You know. So, but they won't teach you. Not allowed to know it. So that's a problem here. But we, us in Bitcoin, in Bitcoin, Bitcoin is truth. Bitcoin is there's no flaw in Bitcoin. So it's open. So that's why it's so easy to educate on Bitcoin to educate people about the, this monetary policy and the, and uh, that uh, you know. So easy to teach on Bitcoin. So, because it's open, because it's truth. Every ten minutes, it's propagate the truth. So, yes, that's why I just like you know, like uh, it's amazing. It's amazing how, like. Most people don't really, you know, understand uh, why the, the current financial system is a scam. And I, I'm happy to fund and, and, and uh, you know, support my first Bitcoin right? every time. Even if it's like 10 satoshis, 100 satoshis, it doesn't matter. It's just like showing the love and the support and the, that you're with them. I, that's all that count, I think. I, I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe they they co op they, Maybe they they don't manage their money well. But I can see the numbers. I can see where they go to the school and um, have the kids and you know all those things. Program the books, right? Those are not shit coins. Those are those are not fake. You know, future signaling. You know, like uh, you know, like donation organization some something like that something stupid it's hands boots on the ground people you know devoting their life to educate others right so that's that's what like makes me bullish and uh, that's why I'm proud of and that's why I focus my time on education right I don't really care about the price fluctuation and all those traders out there think talking about uh, a Bitcoin price and all those things. Uh, oh, this, yeah, I know. Yeah, I I know. It, like, it's mathematically. You know, Bitcoin is math, 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 mathematically programmed to go up because it's just twenty. It's just infinity divided by twenty-one million. I already know it's gonna be a twenty-one million. It's gonna be infinity, right? You know, the price is gonna go to infinity. I know that. But one thing I don't know is how long it's gonna take. For the people of the world who need it the most to save their life, you know, I need to make sure that they get it on time, right? So in order for that to happen, then we have to educate, we have to help, we have to support them and teach them, right? You know, different languages. Like I still I teach in like in many uh, and, and I speak different languages. Um, I'm still learning Spanish. I just speak uh, 
you know, I understand and I speak a few uh, Spanish, but I don't really, like, I'm not an expert yet. But there are so many, uh, but we can find people who can do it in this language, right? So remember, the world is, is enormous, it's big. So it makes sense to, to educate others, right? To help them the way we can, you know? So anyways, so this is, uh, that's what I wanted to just uh, throw out there. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys are, you know, helping educate the world. You know, just like I said, it doesn't have to be much. It could be just 100 sat. It could be only one sat, right? Maybe that's what you can't afford, right? It doesn't matter. What matters the most is that you, you care, right? You care about the, the other, the other, like, four billion out there who don't have the means to, to even save to eat next day, right? Those are the, those are the people out there that I, I know like you have like Warren Buffett and all those people I don't I'm not really care about them because they are okay you know they're fine they're they were, you know even the, the entire system collapse right now they will be fine you know like they will they will do whatever they can to screw everybody over so they can survive okay so uh, you know don't worry about them what I'm worried about is those people and those kids even in the western world like those kids they only rely on food food banks right so if the system collapse i mean people like i'm sorry to say they're gonna be dead because who's gonna feed them you know like this this is uh, the problem here it's like so many kids are relying on the system right and they rely on the state to take care of them right so uh, and the state is so big now you have like anything you have your kid you have your own kid when they come to you whatever let's say you send your kid to school like the shoes is whip and you didn't see that yet and then you didn't have the money to buy it yet and they come to your house and they come check if your kid is doing well if not they take it from they take your kids from you so they come they would they send your kid to for a place they think they can take your care of the kids better than you so all these things and people working on this program, they incentivize to go well, run, around, run around and go and take people, kids from them. So, and then the state is funding that. Think about that. And, and like, it's just stupid. And you're forcing people to, now, what's the incentive now? Look at the incentive. The incentive is people will have kids and they won't care right, about them. And they just and the government will take care of them, right? And then and then the cycle will repeat. And then that's why we s you have all this money printing, inflation, and all those crazy things, right? So it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. So you need a, so you need an exit strategy to protect yourself, your kids, and your, your family, you know? So anyways, that was the TikTok for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you again in the next Toxic Talk by Cover.